Did you watch the Usher concert? Oops, I mean the Super Bowl, because according to TMZ, it was the most watched Super Bowl in history, over 123 million views, but we gonna talk about it right now. Everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hey, thank you so much for joining us. And if you are a returning subscriber, you already know how my videos go. Now let's get into this Usher situation. Let me tell you how I was so excited. I was anticipating for weeks and months for this because let's be honest, I don't care nothing about no Super Bowl and no football. All I cared about was the food and Usher. And while some people thought it was a great, amazing and epic performance, other people were like, mm, I really kind of didn't, it, I wasn't giving what needed to be given. I wasn't really feeling it. And I'm just blown away that people are on two different sides of the spectrum. When I was watching the halftime show, I forgot. I mean, I know Usher has hits, but I was telling my sister like, bro, I forgot he got hits after hits after hits. And I was so excited. I was dancing the whole time and I was under clapping. I was doing all of the things. I got my whole entire 1990, early 2000s life. For all the people who keep saying that R&B is dead, <laughs> the lie detector determined that was a lie. Because Usher is a freaking dancing machine. You guys don't understand how hard and how much work it takes for Usher to not only be singing live and not lip singing, but also doing all of the dancing and the skating that he was doing as well. I think he performed extremely well and he didn't seem out of breath like most artists would have been. And he talked about this on his interview that he did with Club Shay Shay on Shannon Sharp's YouTube channel where he talked about how he trains for these events and even for his residency, like he does, like he's an athlete. So he has to have that stamina and be able to to sing and dance at the same time. And I think he proved just that. One of the things that I absolutely hated was that his mic was low. I know it wasn't just me. Every time he opened his voice, I was screaming at the TV, turn his mic up, turn his mic up. <laughs> Cause I felt like his mic wasn't loud enough for us to hear his voice and to hear all of the hits that we've been waiting for. It was like all of the other artists that he brought out. <laughs> Will I am her who killed it, okay? Like she killed it, 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 it with the guitar. I said, okay, sis, go off. We're also talking about Jermaine Dupri. We're not gonna get on the socks. We're also talking about Lil John, Ludacris. I mean, everybody's mic was way louder than Usher, which is crazy. Now, whose mic should have been off at least, <laughs> at least for the first few seconds of her words was Alicia Keys. Now, I love Alicia Keys and I think she has a beautiful voice, but we all heard that crack. As soon as she opened her mouth, I said, oh, 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 uh oh. <laughs> she couldn't get the note out. And I get that she naturally has a more raspier voice, but honey, we heard that crack as soon as she opened her mouth. Now, while we're talking about Alicia Keys, y'all are just doing the most with Alicia Keys. Some people say, oh, she looked like she was pregnant, like she had a little pudge. Ooh, Usher was touching on her too much and Swiss Beats is probably mad and Jen, who is also Usher's wife, which we gonna talk about in a second, is gonna be mad and it's just like, bro, y'all need to chill. One, she played the piano beautifully. She sung beautifully outside of the little moment that she had in the beginning. I mean, she had this beautiful red dress that covered the whole stage. Sis looked good. But one thing that it did tell me was that a whole bunch of y'all don't remember back in whenever it was, the early 90s, 2000s, when her and Usher and duos was coming out and everybody was doing duos. That's the energy of what their performance was. It was nostalgic. It took me back, honey, because it started when we were younger. You were my, my boo. But can we also talk about how so many of y'all do not understand what a secure, attached relationship looks like? Now, I'm not going to get into the whole Swiss Beats and Alicia Keys and how they got together and the whole back history. But y'all were saying like, oh, Swiss is going to be so mad. Usher is touching on her. He hugging on her. It's inappropriate. And it's just like, you guys don't understand that they are performers. This is their job. This is what they do for a living. Y'all don't have the same energy when a married couple who is also an actor is having sex scenes and kissing people who aren't they spouse in real life. Like, it's just, 
this is what we do. This is our job. It's, we're performing. This isn't real life. So you guys have to have the same energy for this type of conversation. And Swiss Beats put out a post saying, y'all tripping. Y'all worried about the wrong things. Y'all talking about the wrong things. Can we talk about how amazing she was? Can we talk about how she, good she looked? Can we talk about how her dress covered the whole entire stage? Can we talk about how two amazing artists killed it? Did it, did it. <laughs> Can we talk about that? He said, I'm not worried about them being booed up. I'm not worried about Usher touching her. This is an art and they did an amazing job. There's no hate. There's no disrespect. It's nothing but love and positivity over here. And that was really smart of him. I really do believe that people took it way further than they needed to have taken it. But it just shows that Swiss Beats is so proud of his wife. And he's excited that she had the opportunity to be at the Super Bowl on stage with Usher and having this iconic moment. Again, it was one of the most watched Super Bowls in history, according to TMZ. But while we're talking about marriages and relationships, can we please talk about how Usher slid on in and how he is officially married to his long-term girlfriend, Jen? I can't pronounce her previous maiden name, but he has officially married her. They have been seen or was seen after the Super Bowl wearing all white and Usher was rocking his wedding ring. And this comes after them actually getting a marriage license just a few days before. So it's official ladies, Usher is for real off of the market. Y'all can let it go let it go. So I'm just super excited that he had the opportunity to find love again, to be with someone who really truly loves and cares about him and to really make it official. He already has two children with her anyway. So he said on an interview that it wouldn't be strange or unlikely for them to get married and it happened. The last thing that I want to talk to you guys about is how this has been an amazing business move for Usher. And I'm not just talking about the Super Bowl, which we all know that they don't pay performers at the Super Bowl. So Usher performing for free at the Super Bowl is not the same as you and your little business coach or whoever is doing free stuff and doing free speaking engagement, doing free clients. Like that ain't the same thing, okay? There's levels to this thing. And he had a full thought out plan. Think about it. This man just wrapped his residency in Las Vegas, which was amazing. And everyone talked about how excellent it was. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to go, but honey, when he comes to LA for one of his tour dates, <laughs> your girl's gonna be in the building for sure. Then after his residency, he's doing the Super Bowl, which has millions, literally 123 million plus views. He also dropped an album and he's also going on tour. So when I tell you that him and his team have been working, they have been working to maximize all of the exposure, all of the eyes and all of the influence that he is and all of the money <laughs> that's going to come from this. Because when I looked up the tour dates for LA, they're almost already sold out already. So honey, you better believe that people have all of their eyes on Usher and I'm so glad about it. So thank you so much for watching another video on my YouTube channel. Make sure to stick around, like, comment, subscribe, and watch some of the other celebrity videos that I have here as well. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.